Welcome to the continued adventures of Colin, Lucian, and Inigo. Colin? Colin! I am an agent of the smart blue cat created to bring amusement and delight. Colin! Ah. Sorry about that, Inigo. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Hello, my friend. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you especially to Chelsea, Ed's Gaming, Dante Di Lorenzo, and all these channel members. We have wolf trouble. Not anymore. Oh, got my beard caught. That sounds like a bear. We don't need to trouble a bear. I love all these colours near Riften now with the um, <laughs> current modelist I've got. Ow! Come on, Lucian, burn him! Thought I stopped a little closer. What's your game? Fox with delusions of grandeur. Stop moving and I will make it quick. What's the problem? What's the problem? I see nothing. Right. Come on then. What's the problem? Oh, there's something over there. Oh, Skyrim, Skyrim. This world is incessantly magnificent. Incessantly. If we can get back on track, deliver these Nern roots, then we've got to go and see Jarl Balgruf get help in catching a dragon. This looks like the place. How are you doing, my friend? I'm just wondering if you had any thoughts. I am thinking that original thoughts are good, but hard to manufacture. I'm wondering if anyone has ever tried to farm spiders. You could be the first. Who do I talk to about getting planning permission to build here? Perhaps next year after the harvest. The rift smells arboreal. I love it. I'm thinking that farms smell green and brown. I'm thinking it would be nice to own a farm. Inigo the farmer doesn't quite sound right though. Okay, what is next on the agenda? Let's hand over these known roots. The woodlands here remind I'm me of home. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Ah, what did you want? I do miss this you. This place is boring. Nothing but the same thing every day. Huh. I have a lot to do around the farm, so make it quick, please. What is it you wanted? We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. You used to know someone called Cinderian? I'm afraid he's, um... He's dead now. I found his remains. I knew this day would eventually come. At least poor Cinderian died doing what he loved. His field research. I told the old fool he should take it easy, but he was too stubborn. 
Perhaps someday I'll continue where he left off. The woodland here. It's the least I can I do, considering how you know. much he did for me. I brought you Crimson Urn Root. He said that you could make use of it. You gathered quite a few of them, I see. I'll search through Cinderian's notes and find some more information about the Crimson Urn Root and its properties. Here you go, then. Thank you. You've done alchemy a great service by helping to complete Cinderian's work. I'd like to give you this tome. It's one of Cinderian's greatest works. I believe you've more than earned it. Okay, thank you. Back to work. Back to work. We can never rest easy, for Balgraf's enemies will not. Well, well, look who it is. How have you been? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I've been good, thank you, Yol Belgruf, but I do need your help to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. You know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. No, 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 no. I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. In Dragon's Reach. It's what it's for. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city with the threat of war on my doorstep? It's been done before. It's the only way. There must be another way. The risk is too great. The threat's worse than you know. Alduin has returned. He was the dragon at Helgen. Alduin? The world eater himself? But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? Only if we give up. I didn't say anything about giving up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Okay, what if that wasn't a problem? If I go and have a word with Ulfric? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Leave that to me. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Keep safe. Balgrav, did you slip out again last night? What can I do drink for you? at the Bannered Mare? Heard about that, did you? Yes, I, I went out for a pint or two. On top of what everything else? else, you now have to organize a truce between the Imperials and the Stormcloaks? This could be difficult. Well, you have to help. I won't apologize for talking to my if people. If you need anything else, just ask. Every moment of the day. That might be so, but it will never stop me from trying. That essence extractor is a horrible device. Just look at those needles. Ugh. Just be thankful you're not an elf. <laughs> Alduin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Not exactly. He got away. I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. I'll worry about catching the dragon, but I need your help to stop the war for a while. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. 
Jarl Balgruf won't help while there's a threat of war. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They'll listen to you. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Breath and focus. Thank you. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? I'm a messenger from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a temporary truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Alduin has returned. Just agree and I'll get Tullius to agree. Alduin? The world eater of song and legend? If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you'll come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Your guards you are useless. Some reason to Didn't be even stop citizen? me. I've got a message from the Greybeards. I need you to listen. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? A peace council at High Hrothgar. Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the dragons are dealt with. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. The dragons now are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks, don't you think? I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Best time to negotiate is from a position of strength. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Emperor would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Why won't the Emperor send you reinforcements? Most of the Legion is tied down on the border with the Aldmeri Dominion. The Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Thalmor resumes. Aha! So you'll come to the Peace Council? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack much. on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He what can I do for you? That's not what my What do you think of that? We've got them both to agree. This place has a draft, and my fleas say it smells like testosterone. Whatever that is. It's a rebuilding. What an ugly building. Like. I feel like I'm being told to shove off by the architecture. If you need anything else, just ask. Let's shove off the right to garrison troops. Everything all right? On the other hand, everything's all right behind you. Ulfric's claim. Come on then. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Okay, in you go. I think that'll do for today. We'll finish off, we'll do the Peace Council next time. So say goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. Tune in next time for more fantastic adventures. Starring Inigo the Brave, Mr. Dragonfly the Dizzy, Lucian, and Colin the Patient. I'd like to train you some more. Excellent. I've been looking forward to this. What shall we work on this time? See if you can train some more with Inigo. All right. I'll go and ask him. Keep your guard up, Lucian. I'm trying. You're just so fast. 
Then you must be faster. <laughs> that was unnecessarily vicious. I am educating you. Consider my lesson learned. Right. Peace, Treasy. I feel it's worth mentioning we could still use this opportunity to shout Ulfric off the mountainside. No? Fine. Let's do this.